Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So the DJI Mavic 3 has been out for approximately one year. I believe I received mine last year, November 13th. The DJI Mavic 3 is a drone that many people, including myself, were highly anticipating as it was a successor to the Mavic 2 series. Now with the launch of the Mavic 3, there was a little bit of controversy and that was basically due to a lot of missing features. Now these missing features were no surprise to us. DJI did warn everybody that they weren't going to be there and they would be added with a firmware update in January. DJI ended up surprising Mavic 3 owners and releasing the firmware update early in December. That added most of the missing features and the rest were indeed added in January. And just like all technology when it first gets released, there's usually some bugs and the Mavic 3 was no different. A lot of people, including myself, were suffering from slow GPS connectivity and the obstacle avoidance was a little oversensitive, causing the drone to jump around quite a bit. There's a few other minor issues, but the thing is I wasn't too worried about it because DJI usually does a good job at getting these problems fixed. And indeed they did. It took a few firmware updates, but definitely the drone we have today is not like the drone that was released last year. They have added several new features and enhancements, making this a very powerful content creation tool for photographers, videographers, vloggers, and anybody who wants to capture their travels or adventures. Now, the DJI Mavic 3 is by far the best drone that I've ever owned. I'm not a professional by any means. I consider myself more of a hobbyist. And in my opinion, there's nothing on the market that comes close in this category. Of course, Autel does make some nice drones, but when it comes to flight characteristics and the quality of the camera, nothing in my opinion is anywhere near it. That's one thing you can always count on with a DJI drone is that you know the flight characteristics are going to be very impressive. And that's across the board to all their drones. Whether you buy one of their lower cost entry level drones or one of their higher end drones, they're all going to fly very similarly. You basically know what to expect. Now the DJI Mavic 3 is definitely not a cheap drone. It does come with a fairly hefty price tag. And the reality is that did put it out of price range for many people, especially if you're just a hobbyist like to fly on the weekends. There are better choices for people who just fly casually once in a while. But DJI did kind of address that recently by launching the Mavic 3 Classic. Basically, it's identical to the Mavic 3, the chassis, the main camera. The only difference is it doesn't have the tele zoom lens on it. So that's a good choice for those who did want to get into the Mavic 3 but didn't want to spend the high price. On top of that, they offer the option to purchase it with the DJI RC. Again, a great choice for those who want a smart style controller, but don't want the expense of something like the DJI RC Pro. Now really what makes the Mavic 3 pretty incredible is the camera that's included with it. The Hasselblad camera is just simply incredible, equipped with a 4 3rd sensor, 10 bit color, variable aperture, the quality of content that it can capture no matter what the lighting conditions is just simply stunning. Whether you're a person who likes to fly during the day, twilight, sunset, or perhaps you prefer flying at night capturing city skylines, this Micro Four Third sensor is very capable and works great in most scenarios. Now of course in addition to the Hasselblad camera we did get that tele lens that's capable of zooming in all the way to 28 times. It has a fixed focal length of 7 times and for the most part when you're filming in that 7 times the image quality is not too bad. Of course when you get into the 14 times or 28 times the image is going to break apart a little bit but for the most part it actually does a pretty good job. You may not be filming anything cinematic when you're zoomed in like that but the quality and the clarity is actually quite good. They have made quite a few improvements to it over the past year. When it was first launched there was some issues with it with focus and clarity but with firmware they have managed to fix that make it look a lot better and they've actually added some intelligent flight features while using that camera. Most recently we got the ability to use point of interest and spotlight while using that tele lens and that can actually allow you to do some pretty interesting and creative things. The the overall design of the Mavic 3 is quite nice, the aesthetics are nice, the build quality is good, and I really like what they did with the obstacle avoidance this year having these bubble lenses. They allow the drone to see more area and offer better obstacle avoidance. The flight time with the Mavic 3 is quite good at 46 minutes. This is probably one of the first drones that you could get by owning just one battery. Of course you're not going to get a full 46 minutes. It's going to depend on the conditions you're flying in and how you're flying. But it's safe to say that you're going to get close to 40 minutes with one battery. Which is a good thing because these batteries are not cheap. Here in Canada they're well over $200. The other nice feature of the Mavic 3 is that it's very quiet. Now it's maybe not as quiet as something like the Mini 3, but overall compared to other drones on the market, it's not very loud at all. And that can be important for some people and in some situations. Not everybody likes drones, and sometimes when you're flying around people or in public places, you don't want to draw a lot of attention to yourself by putting up a noisy drone. So the Mavic 3 does allow you to fly a little bit more stealthily when that's required. 
And of course the Mavic 3 performs great in the wind. I have flown this thing on some pretty windy days. When I was out capturing these clips here a couple weeks ago, it was an extremely windy day that day. I think we were having gusts of about 48, 49 kilometers per hour. And in fact, I think at some points it was even stronger than that. But when you look back at the footage, you would never know. Everything is still nice, stable, and smooth. Now, I don't want this video to go on too long, but one last thing I do want to touch base on. I really like the direction that DJI is heading in when it comes to charging. They've pretty well switched over to USB-C, which is really nice, because instead of those big, bulky, proprietary charges, we now just have this small, compact, easy to travel with charger. And the nice thing about that is, if you are going on vacation or you're traveling with a couple different drones, you no longer have to bring two or three different chargers with you. Something like the Mavic 3, the Mini 3, and the DJI Avada all can be charged from a single USB-C charger. The other benefit to that is if you ever damage your charger or you lose it, you don't have to hunt around trying to find that proprietary charger, which can be a little bit expensive. All you have to do is pick up a USB-C charger, something that's fairly high wattage, and you're good to go. So all in all, I've really enjoyed the past year flying the Mavic 3. In my opinion, it is well worth the money. Of course, like I said, if you are just a casual flyer, something like the Mini 3 is more than adequate. It's a pretty incredible drone as well, and it may be better suited to some people's budgets and needs. We've had so many incredible firmware updates over the last couple months. We now have the ability to set cruise control. We can adjust the speed of the different flight modes, and I'm actually looking forward to seeing what else is to come. I have a feeling we're going to see some more interesting new updates over the coming months, making an already great drone even better. Well folks, that's basically it. That's my one year review of the DJI Mavic 3. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, it's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.